Thursday, October 13th. Um, General assemblies continue to happen. Action at a Wells Fargo bank where we shut down with Reverend Bruce Wright, who tried to withdraw all of his money that he had in an account. They wouldn't let him do it. They shut down the bank and he burned all his checks and uh, deposit slips outside the bank. But another action inside the Rayburn building that resulted in seven arrests. You can pan over there and see what the Capitol Police are doing right now. Thank you. What the Capitol Police are doing right now, they're blocking off, literally blocking off the corridors of power. They're not letting the people walk through the halls of Congress. We're now in the Rayburn House office building. This is the people's house. They did not let us sit inside a public hearing, and now they do not let us walk through the halls of Congress. So this is what democracy, this is what American democracy looks like. Just so we're clear, this is what American democracy looks like. And Ali McCracken was one of those arrested. Tell us what happened. So uh, we got to the Rayburn building a couple hours this early this morning before the House Armed Services Committee uh, had their hearing and Leon Panetto was testifying, the Secretary of Defense. So um, the woman who kind of runs the hearing room came out and announced to us that it was totally illegal for us to hold up any signs or say anything before the gavel went down in the hearing, after the gavel went down, or after the hearing was finished. And so we decided we were going to go in and just disrupt as soon as uh, as soon as Panetta walked in the door and as soon as he started speaking. And we had seven of us lined up and I decided to go first. So he came in and he was about to sit down and I was about 20 feet away when I stood up and pulled out my sign that said, uh, fund my education, not your wars. And I held it up and I started shouting, you know, Secretary Panetta, when are you going to stop funding war and start rebuilding America? You know, I'm, I, we've been at war for almost half of my life. There are guys my age who have PTSD. It's time to rebuild the United States and invest money in infrastructure, the economy here. And as I was saying that, I got dragged out by the police and cuffed outside. And I continued to shout as I went down the hall and was dragged outside. And um, every few minutes after that, someone came out screaming and shouting. So six people were charged with something, and you were charged with something else. First, what were the other six people arrested charged with? They were charged with disrupting Congress, but I was charged with assaulting Leon Panetta. And, and the reason for that charge is? Oh, well, the police in the station told me that. Um, at first, they said I bumped into someone, and then they said, well, actually, your sign touched a government official. And I said, what government official? And they said, well, it was Leon Panetta. But he was 20 feet away from me, and anyone who was there can tell you that. They all saw it. So it's kind of ridiculous. And my, uh, my court date's on the 27th. What happened inside was that the chairman of the committee opened talking about how important it is to keep funding the war machine. And then afterwards, the ranking Democrat on the committee uh, went on and saying, uh, yes, we do need to keep funding the war machine, and we'll probably need to raise taxes to keep funding the war machine. And that was very telling, because that's the distinction between these two parties. They all agree that we need to keep funding the war machines, and they both talked about cutting crucial services to human needs, which they derogatorily call entitlement programs. So we found that we're sitting the Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and Congress people seemingly unanimously were just bowing down to them saying, yes, we're here for you. We're going to take all the nation's wealth and raise the public debt just so we can keep funding our military contractors and keep paying for killing more and more unarmed civilians across the world, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Somalia, in Libya, in Pakistan, 